I am Jen Tuha Fitzpatrick. I'm a bit of a scrapper, having to deal with growing up as an Australian in a Vietnamese body. Life for me started out rough. I was sick, orphaned and in the middle of a war zone. Born in 1972, I was taken to the Sancta Marie Orphanage in Saigon. When I was 10 months old, I was transferred to the World Vision Hospital in Saigon, where I remained for two years. I arrived in Sydney as a two and a half year old on the first Operation Baby Lift flight from Saigon to Australia on April the 7th, 1975. I met my adoptive parents, Alan and Lorraine Tempest, in the Berry Street Babies Home in Melbourne. My early childhood was spent in country Victoria. My parents were awesome. I learned to appreciate creativity and humility from my dad, and my mum gave me the self-belief and a strong sense of humanity. My sister Sally was a great support to me, and my brother Stephen looked out for me. People were naturally curious when they saw me with my family. Living in a country town when I was confronted with stereotypes, cruelty, racism and ignorance, I was reminded constantly of being different and not belonging. I didn't speak Vietnamese and I had little knowledge of Vietnam. My parents tried to encourage me to accept my Vietnamese heritage, but I was too scared and refused to learn. I was angry, confused about my identity and I felt I could not live up to everyone's expectations. I wanted people to see me for who I am, not by what I looked like. Growing up as part of an Australian family, the fact that I was adopted was obvious, which made me vulnerable, defensive and isolated. It wasn't until I went to university to study in Townsville in 1991 that I started to realise that I could be both Vietnamese and Australian. My Australian and Asian students' friends saw within me what I couldn't, that being Vietnamese is positive and not something to be afraid of. I have formed strong bonds with other intercountry adoptees and I'm proactive in educating prospective couples, adoptive parents, community groups, governments, adoptees on issues facing adoptees. I always knew that I needed to make the journey back to Vietnam, but due to fear I had always resisted taking the step. With the support of my husband Leonard, I was able to overcome my fear and make the journey back to Vietnam in February 2005. Having no memory of Vietnam, I was unsure of what to expect. I knew I would be safe as my husband had been to Vietnam before and he knows some of the language. I joined other Vietnamese adoptees for the 30th reunion of the Santa Maria Orphanage in Saigon. It was an awesome to connect with other adoptees who shared similar experiences. Listening to parents of adoptees and people involved with Baby Lift gave me more of an idea of the circumstances of my own life at that time. I love Saigon, its surroundings, culture, landscape and the people's dignity and aura. My trip back to Vietnam helped me to find the peace that I sought. I'm proud to belong to the Vietnamese community in Brisbane and I'm learning the Vietnamese language and culture with my husband Leonard. We are teaching our two boys, Kai and Noah, about their heritage. We look forward to returning to Vietnam with our boys in the near future. I understand from my own experience how beneficial it would be for my children to know both their Vietnamese and Australian heritage. I hope this will give my children strength, self-belief and pride in who they are.